It's February the 12th today and we finally got around to it. We've got a test of the furnace backup with the new inverter setup. And spoiler alert, it kicked ass. So the conditions of this test. Uh, today outside it is minus 31 degrees Celsius close by where I live and there's a clipping of a news or a uh, weather network brief to verify this. And I just let the system run as it would normally run, kicking the fan on and off, kicking the heat system on and off, and uh, started it up and just let it go. Here's an overview of the system. If you guys haven't already seen the video, I will leave a link up to it here somewhere and you guys can check out me installing this thing. If you like, you can even watch me uh, put the APC in and fail on that before I finally got a good system uh, up and running. So the inverter I'm using is a Xantrex. The uh, charger that I'm using in the back there is just a 12 volt maintenance charger. And it's got a pulse mode that's supposed to keep the batteries in good condition as well for a long period of time. Kind of like a storage charger, it's just a small two amp charger. There's a line that goes in, line that comes out, and uh, it automatically switches over on itself. So I never have to worry about engaging the system. It's uh, pretty much a hands-free walk away and it'll do its thing. It is powering a high efficiency gas furnace made by Rude. Time to start this test, 9.55. So I'll go run over and I'll flip the breaker. And let's uh, take a look at the screen for the first indication here, see where we're at. 12.1 volts, so we got to drop right away and it's consuming 471 watts. So the plan was to check this thing about every 30 minutes and that's kind of how I started. Uh, the spacing gets a little bit uh, uh, longer, I think, after uh, the first few tests. So let's check that. 10.30, and we'll just uh, check the status here. Kind of flirting between 11.9 and 12 volts. And the 466 uh, watt load, that is when the furnace is running. If it's around 70, uh, that is just the furnace fan. Or the uh, trickle charger, but we'll get into that in a sec here. Back at 10.55, so this has been running now for an hour. 12.3 volts and 48 watts. So pretty low consumption. And here's a trickle charger we were telling you about earlier, and if you think that I'm kind of cheating and charging while I'm using this thing, that plug that you see there is actually uh, powered by that inverter as well and only by that inverter. It's designed to be a hot plug, so if you need to charge a cell phone or if I need to take and uh, keep those guys warm in the event of a power outage as well. All right, 11.55, so we're going on just shy of two hours here right now. Let's go take a, a quick peek. 12 volts, so it's holding at a 12 volts right now and uh, 72 watts. And I found it stayed here for a little bit. One o'clock, hour number three, now this is kind of where I was expecting this thing to go to. I did not think it would go past three hours. That was my personal, personal thought. We are at back to 11.9 volts and the load is light. I will get also show you guys at the uh, end of the video. Uh, my Ecobee thermostat has Kind of a record of how much the furnace was running throughout the day so i will take that and you guys can see that this thing wasn't just idling all day it was actually running quite quite steadily to keep up with the frigid temperatures outside okay we're at two o'clock here next or just after two 11.7 volts and 78 watts now this kind of surprised me i was expecting a little bit more voltage dip but i found when the uh, furnace is running, the volts would back off about 0.6 from where they would sit if there was no load, and then it would come back up. All right, we're going on 250. And here's just proof that uh, the furnace is actually operating completely normal. Burners are giving her. And had no issues at all with uh, any error codes on the furnace at all. It was none the wiser. And now our voltage is finally starting to dip here. 11.4 and 450 watts. 
Now the good thing about this uh, Xantrex here is it looks like the default values they programmed it at was 10.5 volts was the cutoff. And I was thinking initially that was kind of too low, but after kind of seeing how the voltage uh, dips and then comes back up on its own, I think I'm gonna leave it at that default setting. I, I kind of like where it's set up. It seems coming up here at 10 after four. So now we're going on uh, six hours and about 15 minutes. And now this is the first time you can kind of see 11.1 .1 and it is running again, 440 watts used. And that is it. I heard a beep at 420 and it was a new beep. So it means it's coming from the Xantrex. So I uh, ran right over to take a look and uh, you'll see what I'm seeing here. 10.9 volts and I've got a 05 warning, which uh, did not know at the time, so I'll pull out the book and show you guys. 98 watts used. Furnace fan is running. Everything is still operating normal, so keep that in mind. And the one thing that's kind of got me puzzled here, the battery indication uh, on this thing is still showing me that I have battery life left. And according to that, it would be still somewhere around uh, 50 to 75, but I don't think that's right. I think if I would have pushed it a little bit, I would have maybe got another hour out of it, just kind of basing it on how the volts were dropping over the last hour. So error five, as I suspected, uh, it's a low battery and you can see uh, here's the manual and the error code. I mean, it has a potential for other battery issues, but I know it's definitely the low battery just based on what we're doing today. So I'll uh, go turn the breaker back on. Now with the breaker back on, you can see the uh, Xantrex goes right back into bypass mode and it's being supplied again off of utility power. Cool thing here is you'll notice right away the battery volts is, is as I mentioned here, it just hops right up again to like a 0.7. So could I run it longer? I could have definitely gone longer on it, but I wasn't gonna run it to destroy my batteries either. I, this is more of a just a, a kind of a test to see how far it would go. And I am extremely happy with this result. The uh, final time on this thing here that it ran was from, there you have it, 9.55 in the morning until 4.25. So we got a good six and a half hours that this puppy ran. I, uh, I gotta say, I'm very, very impressed. I was expecting about two to three hours, maybe four if I was lucky. With the temps being freezing cold outside today and the furnace running as much as it had to to keep up and uh, the graph is gonna be right here. You guys can kind of take a look. The uh, orange bars at the top are every time the furnace cycles and the white bars are the furnace fans. So you can see the furnace has definitely done its job today. I'm blown away, I'm impressed, absolutely love the setup. The only question is duration of time. And if this thing goes for a while, I am loving it. Peace of mind that uh, my family has got a little bit of a fail safe here in case I am on the road and I can't fix it up. If you like the video that you've seen here today, thumbs it up, comment if there's anything that you noticed that I could have done better or something that I missed uh, or something you'd like to see me test on the setup. And uh, if you haven't uh, already done so, subscribe to my channel. It lets uh, YouTube know that you're happy seeing my mug giving you all kinds of random information. Until next time, take care.